How's it going everybody? Adam here. Welcome back to the AKG project. As you can see already by the scene, things are looking a little different than what you guys last saw. And this video is just a small update video unfortunately. But since then, being then being last time, I have actually got probably about 90% of the wall running mechanic done. Over here was just for testing jumping lengths. Pretty not entirely sure if that was in the last videos. I don't think it was from the look that I had. But anyway, we now have. If I can line myself up properly, we now have the running wall running animation in in all its glory. And for the most part, it works relatively well. I don't think there's any bouncing for anything like that. Uh, uh, I don't know if I make it. I fell down. Just restart that. But yeah, no, it's like pretty well works for all directions. I say all directions. So far, I just thought, just figured it out. I haven't tested it for on angles. Let's see if that actually works. Let's just grab this one. Drag it across, give it an odd angle. Let's see how this works. I know. Well, I don't know, but let's see if this works. Oh, that works. Cool. Fantastic. As you can see by the giant wall I've got here, I do also have a vertical wall running working. Looks a little clumsy at the moment, but it's pretty. It's seamless up here too. And this should also work on off angles. And it does. Off angles. Any angles. By the way, they're working. The code for them is both slightly different. I can just go through that and just change that back. So we're mainly using these sort of different variables here. These are Main, these two here are mainly to do with when wall running vertically, just changing the forward and up to make it was going to make input things. I wanted to have it so just go back. Like if you were to run up this wall, just quickly zoom up here, um, that you would be able to sort of rotate as well, like run like vertically sideways, if that makes sense. Like you could weave around but it just wasn't working for the for the code of the way I have the code jeez the way I have the code at the moment it's just not working that way but that's fine and then inputs are just just these two it's a bad idea to have uh creating vectors over and over again I'm well, having it you know vector three at the front here but anyway going down to the nitty gritty side of things uh, we have this giant section of code, which was there before, opposed from the little running part, uh, just for setting our direction. So here, while we're on our wall running, we have a different variable. Instead of target rotation, we have on wall, on wall rotation, which is calculated from our get side, which is down the bottom here. So this, it just is it essentially at first because it has this and then it goes into this other method. This one just gets a raycast from both left, right and forward, which funnily enough, oops, I forgot about the forward one for a while and was wondering why my code wasn't working. Yeah, this one just wasn't in there. So that was unfortunate. Anyway, sorry, had to cough there. So once that does get, if there is a hit along any side of these, it will go into this method and set up getting their rotation. So this is just a manual normal setup here and this one handles the running straight onto a wall going into vertical, hence vertical wall here and this one as it just grabs the angle that is calculated from the, the normal of the wall and our forward, forward the, the characters players forward direction 
gets the angle between that and adds it adds or pluses the half of that I suppose not necessarily half I found this ages ago in an old project and sort of reformatted it into this one <clears throat> and sorry and then if the angle 145 I found is the sweet spot it's sort of like a 90 degree angle in front of the player a 45 degrees either side well that's the only angle that's needed I won't get into more anything more about that and then we just get the direct Y rotation of that and set that in our wall rotation and then this here is just for our that red array array red ray line that you can see in dub for the debugging purposes and that's pretty much the basics the basis of that I suppose uh, coming further down though uh, it deci I decided to move current speed up here and we also changed how I was setting our velocity by just setting a vector 2 movement speeds just x and y because I'm meaning to swap those and when you're wall running I have to set y to 0 otherwise you go to an immediate stop you get like the initial push up and then stop it's not helpful at all so I had to do a little bit of code changing around here because as you can see for setting our current speed we need the original current speed so at one point I was setting this to zero and it didn't do too well for us but other than that that's pretty much it of course you can get different variations of when uh, grounded wall running get a, a boost which is calculated down here after gravity is applied and then this sort of section here is mainly to do with different uh, forms of gravity being affected by different things so if you're wall running if you're grounded it's you get the initial boost otherwise when you're wall running sideways or both those are sideways and you start going down you want to halve the speed so you're not going as fast this will eventually change so I can get a certain distance set out but I just want I think I said last time too just to get a basics I keep saying basics get a basic version of this working first hence why I'm saying about 90% is done and also at the moment everything is unlimited so I can show you that because there's not much else to delve into the code there this will just load up so if we turn and go over this way. I have an odd error that I need to, or bug that I need to work out. Uh, if I see, yeah, run up to a wall and don't immediately, oops, didn't want to fall down there, but not immediately holding the wall run button, although sometimes it happens if I'm holding it as well. Uh, a little bit noticeable on that one. Um, yeah, I slow down. So I'm not. I think it's got. I'm not quite sure what's that doing it. Although I have the sneaking suspicion that it has something to do with the Y. Like sending Y to zero, I didn't have that problem. But then I needed had to put it back in for other reasons. So yeah. But anyway, this little platform down here, we can get to very easily by just. Oh, we did it again. By just straight wall running. So we don't fall too much, as you can see by the lines here. Actually, I can just do it that way. So you can actually fall down and then continue wall running again if I grabbed it right. But the same for vertical wall running. There's just no, there's no limit to it, which might be considered a little weird. So depending how we want the game to go, I can set up a limit or not. And also at the moment you can just change your direction in midair so you can go from wall running sideways to changing <laughs> wall running up straight up but anyway that's pretty much that for today um i can't say for certain what we'll be doing next time as is not 
really have no idea. I'm not gonna be able to make that. Eh. That. Oh, we're stuck. Come on. I can make it. Oh, we got a bit of a. I'm hitting both sides. Okay, that one. So there's a few little bugs that need to be tested out. I think one that I should do at the moment is setting this to instead of an else if. We'll keep it as an else if, but oops, I grabbed the bottom. That's not what I wanted to do. We'll do it the old way then. Uh, is to do this. Have oops. Have it so it'll check the first being hit first. The front first, opposed to the sides. Because I've also got that slightly a little bit shorter. It should be no, visible in here. Although, I, if I remember the last time I did this, it caused problems. Oh, that still worked. Because the angle thing takes care of that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because realis realistically, these hits have nothing to do with each other. Oh, no, they're all the same thing. So really, I could just... This is a giant or statement. Okay. Oops, that's not the right button. Go like this and then do again. For each of the three. Could do that. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. It's just a little confusing. But that's fine. Uh, Cause yeah, it's just getting a hit. And then down here determines whether it's a vertical or horizontal. But anyway guys, that will do it for today. Um. I'd like to say potentially next episode we could even get into maybe level design, maybe? That would be a little, I might say a little ambitious. Uh, cause that, this is, oh well jumping. Jumping is the other one that needs to be added in. Uh, wall run, wall jumping. So, I might try and, most likely I'm going to work on that this week. And then potentially have like a test level going. That would be like the best say, best case scenario for this week. But yes, that will have to do it for today. This video is going on a little longer than I expected it to, but that's fine. But I will see you guys next time. Hopefully with this odd bug gone, if I can work out how to fix it. But otherwise... I will see you guys next time, and until then, bye.